Okay, everybody stand up. Let's have our prayer first. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord, always guide my students in their studies. Always protect them and guide them, most especially their families. Help us, Lord, to be obedient always. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning. Okay, so before you, uh, we take your seat, can you arrange your chairs and pick up some pieces of paper, papers or plastics under your chairs? Okay, very good. So before, before we proceed to our uh, discussion for today, let's have our attendance first. Is there any absent today? Okay, very good. There is no absent for today. Okay, so since there is, there is no absent for today, let's, let's give ourselves a five claps. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you may take your seat. Okay, remember class, remember our class guidelines for today. Okay, so number one, you have to be prepared. Okay, and number two, to be productive. Always be productive. And number three guidelines, to be participative in our activities later on. Okay, is that clear class? Okay, very good. Now, before we proceed, let us recall our topic yesterday. By the way, what is our topic yesterday? Yes, Albert? Okay, it's, it is all about the different kinds of fish preservation. How about you, Anna? Aside from that. Okay, the definition of fish preservation. By the way, class. Example of fish that is mostly used for fish preservation or fish curing. Yes, Alejandro. Okay, we have the bamboos. Aside from that, what else? Yes. Very good. We have also tilapia. And okay, we have also the dangit. Okay, remember class that those are the different kinds of fish that is usually uh, used for fish curing or fish preservation. Okay, before we start, I'm going to discuss you the objectives related to our lesson for today. Okay, we have number one. You will be able to identify later on the tools and equipment used in fish curing or salting. We have number two, explain the procedure in sanitizing the tools and equipment. And the last one is recognize the importance of cleaning of the tools and equipment. So those are the objectives for today. Okay, now I have here some examples of, of picture. Okay, I have here some examples of picture that you are going to uh, name or identify. Okay, so as I mentioned their function, you are going to guess what will be the specific tools regarding in my or in their function. Number one function, it is used for measuring dry ingredients. Anybody? Yes, lovely. Okay, we have the measuring cup. Okay, very good. Next, it is used for measuring large quantity of ingredients. Okay, what do you think is the picture here that measure large quantity of ingredients? Okay, anybody? From this side. Okay, we have the weighing scale. Very good. Next. How about it is used for slicing or cutting ingredients, most especially the fish. Again, it is used for uh, slicing or cutting ingredients, or most especially the fish. Yes, John. 
Okay, very good. We have the kitchen knife. Next, another one. It is used for preserving raw materials, most especially the fish. Again, it is used for preserving raw materials, most especially the fish. Yes, Liam. Okay, very good. We have the refrigerator. And last one, we have the uh, function. The function of this is to protect or use for protecting the table when slicing. Okay. What is the answer? What do you think is the answer? Okay, we have the chopping board or cutting board. Very good. Okay, let us see if, if the pictures are correct. Okay, so those pictures are correct. During your elementary days, you experience a simple cooking and you are, you are familiar with the different kinds of tools that is mostly used in cooking. Let us see if you remember the different tools and equipment used in cooking. Okay, so I have here a, a 4 picks 1 word. Okay, let's have our game a 4 picks 1 word. Now, you are going to do is to arrange the scrambled letters and to determine what is the correct answer. Okay, are you ready? Game ka na ba? So, let's have a pick number 1. 4 picks 1 word number 1, what do you think is the answer? Okay, I have also here the pictures. Okay, yes, Albert. Okay, we have the kitchen tools. Okay, very good. Next. Okay, picture number two. What do you think is the answer? Okay, I have here also the picture here. Okay, yes, Luella. Okay, very good. We have the cutting board. Next picture. Okay, what do you think uh, is the tools uh, that is in my hand or in the TV? Okay, yes, John. Okay, we have the basins. Very good. Next. How about this one? What do you think the, uh, is the answer of the picture here? Arrange the scrambled letters to get the exact answer. Okay, very good. We have the food tongue. Next. Last picture. So, last picture. What do you think is the uh, correct answer for the last picture? Yes. At the back. Yes, Jane. Stand up if you are going to answer. Okay, very good. We have the measuring cup. Okay, let us see. Okay, so that will be a measuring cup. Okay, so those are the correct answer in our four picks one word. Okay. For those who got answer, uh, who got correct answer, let us give them a 10 claps. Okay, are you ready? Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, now, I have here, I have here a different kinds of salted foods. Okay, so as you can see, there are four delicious salted foods that is mostly eaten during morning. So, can you guess? By the way, can you guess those uh, delicious food that is mostly eaten in the morning? And it is so delicious also when it is partnered with sinangat. Now, I have here some examples of salted food. Can you guess those types of food that is mostly eaten in the morning? Okay, how about food number one? Anyone? Yes, Patrick. Food number one. 
Okay, we have the daing na bangus. Very good. Next, how about food number two? Food number two, we have the yes, James. Okay, we have the tuyo. Very good. Next, how about food number three? Food number three. Yes, we have the food number three. Okay, we have J again. Okay, we have dangit. Very good. Very delicious. How about food number four? Food number four. Yes, Gabi. We have the... Okay, we have the tinapa. Okay, so those are an example of foods or salted foods that is mostly eaten. Okay, now, everybody, so most of us also eat this type of salted food. Okay, and it is very delicious. So in order to make this type of delicious food, we are going to use the tools or equipment to produce this type of foods. Now, let us identify the tools or equipment, the correct tools and equipment in preparing this type of delicious salted food. Okay, so are you ready? Game ka na ba? Okay, very good. Class, let us now identify the different tools and equipment that is mostly used for fish salting or curing. Okay, so we have number one. This type of tools or equipment is a source of heat when cooking food. So, that will be the gas range. Okay, gas range is used or this is the source of heat when cooking. Next, we have salinometer. Okay, everybody say it. Salinometer. Okay, salinometer, it is an instrument used to measure the saltiness of brine. Okay, so when you say salinometer, it is used for measuring the saltiness of brine. Okay, when you say brine, it is a solution or a combination of water and salt. Okay, so you, you, are you familiar with this? Okay, again, that is a salinometer. Very good. Next. Next, we have the... Okay, we have the weighing scale. Okay, this one. Okay, weighing scale, class. This is a, an instrument also measured the... Or measured the raw materials like fish. Okay, again, when you say weighing scale, it is a tool used for measuring the large amount of ingredients or most especially raw materials like fish. Okay, don't forget. Next, we have the beaker. Okay, this one. Okay, this one is the beaker. Okay, beaker is used for measuring liquid ingredients. Okay, again, beaker is used for measuring liquid ingredients. Okay, next picture. Next picture is a measuring cup. Everybody, please read the function of measuring cup. Okay, measuring cup is used to measure dry ingredients. Again, measuring cup is used for measuring dry ingredients. Next, we have the measuring spoon. Okay, measuring spoon is used for measuring small amount of ingredients. Okay, again, measuring spoon is used for measuring small amount of ingredients. Next picture, we have also the cutting board. 
Okay, are you familiar with this? Okay, again, what is this picture? This is a cutting board. And cutting board is used for cutting or chopping material, raw materials. Or used for cutting or chopping wood. Very good. Next. How about this one? Okay, so that will be the cutting knives. Okay, cutting knives are used for cutting raw materials. Okay, next. Next picture is the basin. This one. Okay, basin is used for mixing salt and water. Most especially when you do a fish salting. You are going to use a basin for okay uh, for mixing salt and water. Very good. Next picture. Next picture is a cutting or kitchen scissors. Okay, kitchen uh, kitchen scissors is used for cutting fins mostly of a fish. Don't forget that. Okay, again, kitch, uh, kitchen scissors are used for cutting, okay, fins of fish. You can also use a scissors for cutting, or uh, yes, for cutting uh, different kinds of ingredients that is mostly used in fish salting or fish curing. And the last picture, okay, the last picture is, okay, what do you think, uh, what do you think the tool? In the last picture. Okay, that will be the food tongue. And food tongue, the function of this is to lifting. It is used for lifting or turning food. Very good. So those are an examples of tools or equipment that is mostly used in fish uh, salting or fish curing. Now, here are the reminders in food salting or fish curing. So here are the reminders in food salting or curing. So we have number one reminders. Can you read number one? Yes. Alja. Okay. Okay, number one, you have to calibrate the scale. So in order for you to calibrate the scale, see to it that the pointer Huh? See to it that the pointer of the weighing scale is set to the zero. Okay, don't forget that. Number two reminders. Identify the materials to be sanitized. Okay, before you are going to use those materials in food salting or curing, uh, you have to be reminded that you are going to identify first the materials to be sanitized. Next, number three reminders. Remember the steps in sanitizing the equipment properly. Okay, so those are the three reminders in food salting or curing. Don't forget that. Do you understand class? How about uh, at the right side? Do you understand? Okay, very good. How about in the left side? Very good. So be before you are going to use the tools and equipment, always remember the steps in sanitizing those equipments. Okay, we have number one, wash the utensils with soap. That will be the step number one. Next, number two, rinse with clean water. After you put a soap, then you are going to rinse with clean water water. Next, number three. Number three steps, sanitize by dipping or soaking in sanitizing solution. Okay, we have number four. Number four, after two to five minutes, remove the utensils from the sanitizer solution. Okay, number five, rinse with clean water. After you remove the tools from the sanitizer solution, then the, the next step is rinse with clean water. And last step is 
you are going to dry it thoroughly. And when the tools is already dry, then you are uh, you are going to use that already for food salting or food preservation. So those are the six steps in sanitizing equipment. Okay, did you understand, class? Okay, very good. So after I discuss the reminders and steps in sanitizing the equipment or tools, what have you noticed, class? Yes, ma'am. Okay, it is important to sanitize the tools and equipment. Aside from that, how about on this side? Okay, very good. As much as possible, as uh, sanitizing is a very important before you are going to use the tools or equipment. Okay. Now class, let's have our activity. I am going to divide you into two groups. Okay, from the right side, you are a group one. And from the left side, you are a group number two. Okay, here are the tasks for group number one. For group number one, you are going to draw, okay, you are going to draw five of tools in a manila paper and write a short sentence about the importance of these or sanitizing materials. Okay, did you understand group one? Okay, next, for the group two, Group 2, you are going to recall the proper procedure in sanitizing the kitchen materials for food salting or curing. And you are going to perform a short skit about this. Okay, did you understand group 2? Okay. For that activity, you will be graded by the rubrics. So we have the two, the themes and cooperation. So, okay, five points for the output, output followed by directions, excellent. And five points for, and uh, three points for the output followed directions, but with minimal errors. And two points for the output did not follow the directions. And few members cooperated to finish the activity. Did you understand, class? Okay, now, uh, go to your groups. And you have uh, only five minutes to do your task. Okay, time's up, class. Okay, so go back to your seats. Okay, I think you're ready. Are you ready, class? Game ka na ba? Okay, very good. Now, group one. Uh, go here in front of your class and perform your task. The floor is yours. Okay, thank you so much, group one. How about group two? Group 2, the floor is yours now. Okay, very good. Group 2, go back to your seats. Okay, let us give ourselves a 5 claps. Okay, are you ready? Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let us recall class our topic earlier. Okay, what kind of tools is used for measuring dry ingredients? Anybody? Yes, Mark. Okay, we have the measuring spoon. How about it is a tool used for measuring large quantity of ingredients? Yes, Jane. Okay, we have the weighing scale. How about what is the function of scissors or kitchen scissors? Yes, Albert. Okay, very good. It is used for slicing ingredients or mostly the fish. How about it is a tool used for Okay, it is a tool used for preserving raw materials for food. Yes. Got me. Okay, we have the refrigerator. How about, do you remember the reminders in, uh, or the steps in sanitizing the equipment? What is the number one step? Yes, Victoria. Okay, wash the utensils with soap. How about number two steps in sanitizing equipment? 
Number two steps. Yes. Great. Okay. Rinse with clean water. Next. How about the third step? Anybody? Third step. Yes, Patricia. Okay. We have sanitized by dipping or soaking in sanitizing solution. That will be the third step. How about the fourth step? Four steps. Yes, RJ. Okay, we have after two to five minutes, remove the utensils from the sanitizer solution. Okay, how about the fifth one? The fifth one. Okay, rinse it with clean water. And the last step is, everybody, okay, dry it thoroughly. Okay, remember class, remember that we are going to prepare a, a, an equipment or tools for salting or fish curing. Remember that you have to sanitize it first before you use. Why is it we, go, we are going to sanitize first the tools and equipment before we are going to use for fish uh, curing or salting? Why? Why is it we are going to sanitize it first? Okay, very good. Because, because it is important to sanitize to prevent the contamination of harmful microorganisms. Okay, take note that food is very vital. Okay, see to it that the tools is uh, important. It should be clean and sanitized. Remember our cooks in the food industry class, they are wearing or using proper garments when they are preparing food. Okay, they are, uh, they are always follow the guidelines in sanitizing those equipments in order for them to create a delicious and clean food. Do you understand class? Okay, so let's have our quiz for today. So get your paper, one for sheet of bad paper and ball pen. Okay, are you ready? Okay, I have here at least five questions and it is a multiple choice. You are going to choose the correct answer. Did you understand class? How about from this side? Okay, very good. So you are going to read and understand the questions below and answer them the correct answer. Are you done class? Okay, so who got five? Who got five correct answers? Okay, very good. Now let's have, give them a ten class. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. How about four? Four points. Four correct answers. Okay, very good. Let's give them a seven class. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How about three points? Three correct answers. Okay, let us give them a five class. One, two, three, four, five. How about two points? Two points. Okay, two points only. Okay, two points. Two class. One, two. How about one point? Is there any... Uh, a uh, one point answer here. Correct answer, by the way. Okay, none. Now, for your assignment, this time, you will make your own portfolio. Your task is to cook food for your family's breakfast. Make sure you take pictures every step that you do. In case you don't have gadgets, you may write down the steps and draw the tools used in the activity. You may write your assignment in your TLE notebook class. Did you understand? Alright. You will be assessed with the following points of rubrics. So you, you will be, so all in all, that will be 30 points. We have three criteria. We have following directions, neatness, and expectations. Did you understand class? Is there any question? All right, so since you do not have any question, okay, everybody stand up, let us pray.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Goodbye, class. Thank you.